What is up you guys? You're watching Sergio's Secret and before I get started with today's video, if you can please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe button. I post a video daily on the channel and starting in the month of September. September is going to be my biggest month to date. There is so much to talk about. I'm just waiting for certain timelines to pass. And the month of September is kind of like, you know, the Vogue issue in September. It's kind of like that for me. September is a really big month and it's, I'm also going to be 21. And so, yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about the hat. I also kind of want to show you that I kind of like shaved my head off. So I'm, I shaved it off because I just kind of felt like it. And, you know, I, I like these different kind of little mood change and eras and I don't know what I'll be doing next month or tomorrow. So I think that's what's good about life is, you know, just kind of go with the flow. So, but we are serving this little Gucci bucket hat moment, this Anina Bing t-shirt moment. I'll leave the links for everything down below if they're still available. And this is probably going to be the last biggest haul in a while. Obviously, because sale season is over and we are transitioning into fall. There are some fall key pieces that I'm going to be adding. I do want to go to the mall and I want to bring you guys along. I want to go to H&M and buy like... You know, usually when I buy like fall items from like fast fashion stores, I'm very selective in the items that I pick or maybe do like a huge haul from online and just kind of pick what I keep. Like maybe because there are a lot of cute stuff that I definitely do want to add for fall. But this is going to be kind of like a good designer haul, a classic designer haul. We always love to see it. This one is going to be um, a little bit of everything. It's not going to necessarily be ready to wear shoes. It's going to be everything. So... Um, let's go ahead and get started and we'll get started with jewelry. I have one item from jewelry. It is from Versace It is my first costume jewelry item in a very 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 long time I wanted this to correspond with an item But then I kind of knew that I could it would be a good archive and a good vintage item to have and that I would get more wear out of it like I said, I'm not the type of person to always buy costume jewelry like so this is the first costume jewelry in a very long time and when I talk about years I my dual friendship doesn't count because me my friend got it and I don't really consider that jewelry I just consider that like a little bracelet but this is my first fashion jewelry in a long time so it came in the Versace box and then you open it up and to reveal a pair of earrings and you're just gonna open it up and they are these beautiful <laughs> oh my god, they kind of popped off. Um, they are these beautiful Versace earrings. Um, they are a they're in the, the beautiful classic Versace gold. And they have the beautiful Medusa head, and then they have um, these little crystals throughout the Medusa. Um, one of my close friends let me borrow her pair. Um, she had the ones where it was just the Medusa and not the crystals around it. And so she let me borrow it, and then I saw that these ones were on the website, and I decided, you know what, I really like them. They're kind of cute. I do have um, a Versace blazer that this would go really well with. I have a Versace shirt that I have in this haul, and I am going to be adding a little bit more Versace. And I do have a Versace jumper as well, and this just kind of adds to it, adds to the whole experience. It is a little bit more on the gaudy moment, I will say. Um, it is not a piece that I see myself wearing every day. But it is a nice piece to have, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go for it, and I bought them. So the Versace earrings are the first item that I have in this haul, and I like them, and they're going to get a lot of great wear. Like I said, I normally don't buy a lot of fashion jewelry, um, but this is an exception. Um, I will say that that is an exception. The next item, we're going to do the, the Versace shirt with it. So I've always wanted a silk Versace shirt, guys. Um, I saw Conor McGregor wear it, and I actually wore this to my cousin's wedding. Um, I feel like I was the only one that was kind of like popped out. Um, but I wanted a silk Versace shirt for such a long time, for such, such, such a long time. And I saw this one, I got it offered, and I said, you know what, I really love the colors. I think the blue looks really good. It is more of like a summertime and with prints like this, you have to be careful because you can very, very overkill it very fast. But the way I kind of justify this is that I can wear this many different ways. I could wear this with trousers. I can wear it with jeans. I can wear it with shorts. I can wear it open. I can wear it closed. I can, there's just so much versatility and the silk of it is absolutely beautiful. This is in the Dylan fit. I will say it is a, a, like a little bit of a size bigger, but what I like is that it's just, 
it's just a nice oversize like when conor mcgregor has had it his was very very fitted and with silk shirts in general you don't necessarily want them to be fitted a if you're not fit or b if you don't want them to rip silk is very delicate and can rip very easily and obviously versace even on sale is very very expensive but i just always wanted a silk versace shirt and i didn't know it was going to be this one but i have i'm happy to have this and this would be a great archive piece and this is a great piece that i could use again and again and again and i do like the prints of it and it's very cute but i also like that it doesn't say versace all over it or it doesn't have like medusa it's versace but without it having logos that it says versace and i like that the buttons are you know just plain and simple but this versace silk shirt i did like it i did wear it i'll enter the picture of me wearing it right here i loved it i styled them well with the versace earrings and with my versace sunglasses and some of my lana jewelry it looked very very well and so i think that this is a really great item and it's going to be something that i'll have forever and i will say in my wardrobe in general i'm very very satisfied for once in my life i feel like i'm always missing pieces don't get me wrong i will still buy pieces but for once in my life in general like i'm really good on clothes like i'm when i see my rack right here when i see my closets my coat closet my regular closet or when i go to my parents house and have a little bit of clothes there or my chest of drawers i will say i'm very very content with my wardrobe and i do really really like everything so um versace silk shirt definitely going to be for the win and that we're going to do is saint laurent and i have three items from saint laurent the first one are going to be a pair of boots and you know me when it comes to me unboxing i'm not typically the type of person that like puts it in the box and like unboxes it i like to use items i'm the person that like want it goes to show that i love the item I like to use it the day that I buy it or the, like closer to the day. If I don't wear it, un unless it's kind of like a coat where you kind of have to wait till it gets more colder, that's the exception. But for me, if I wear it that same day, if I wear it within the next 40 hours, it means I love the item. So it came in a box like this, Saint Laurent. These ones are in a size 41 um, and these ones are a men's shoe. And when I got them, I said, oh my God, the pain to break these in is going to be really bad. But I forgot that my other boots I have a Saint Laurent white boot and a 41. But those ones are um, those ones are women's. So those were a little bit more harder to break because they're obviously going to be a little bit more narrow. And so these ones were a men's 41, so they're going to fit a lot better. And then the boot that I got, I already wore them like a couple times. If you guys know what Red River is here in Dallas, my cousin dragged me out to Red River, and then my one of my closest friends dragged me out to rieles if you guys know what that is they're like one's like a gay cowboy like club and then one of them's like uh like a straight kind of like country kind of bar they drug me out both of them and i wore these, and i wore these boots to both occasions and i have worn them on the daily i probably have worn them four times and the, the first day they were very very uncomfortable they're kind of like this patent patent leather um, but what I like is that they're not too shiny. Sometimes when it comes to shiny, it could look a little tacky. Like it will look kind of improper. But what I like about them is that it just has a nice sheen. Especially when you walk at night. It just has such a beautiful sheen if you could just see it. And I love that the zipper is in the gunmetal hardware. And like I said, normally with shoes, it, 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 you know, I break, you know, it takes to break in. But for me, I am very much the type of person that it just takes one or two wears but i also don't complain about oh it hurts whatever i have a very high pain pain tolerance in general i may not like to get shots i may not like to you know break in shoes or you know wear a certain outfit but i don't really complain because i could take the pain and so for me i i love the boots i think that they're really well this one was a great so fine i think i got them for i think i got them for about like four hundred dollars and they retail for fourteen hundred dollars so i got about a thousand dollars off they're classic Saint Laurent boots, and I'm kind of doing this thing where if I do buy one thing, I kind of want to take one thing. So um, there's a pair of Givenchy boots that I don't no longer wear, and I'm ready to let them go. So I'm going to substitute those for these. And um, yeah, they, these are some Saint Laurent boots. They're very very comfortable, and they're going to get a lot more wear. And they are 41, and I would say they fit pretty well, and I love them. 
Um, as far as other Saint Laurent items, I have two pieces of ready to wear. I'm proud to say that the Saint Laurent tank tops, if you guys watch my video on designer items that I'm returning, I talked about how I bought this Saint Laurent tank top in a small. I was able to get it in a size large. And so here it is, the Saint Laurent tank top in the black and white stripes. Um, it has a little bit of a lower scoop neck. It has the Saint Laurent embroidered here, YSL. It's super cute, super nice, goes with everything. I could wear this with my All Saints uh, leather jacket that I've had for like four years. I could wear it with black blazers that are oversized. Um, it's just such like a nice kind of layering piece, especially because it kind of gets, still gets a little hot here in Texas. I thought it would be a really great item to add into the collection. And so I added it. It's going to be a nice classic tank top basic. And with this one, there is a Saint Laurent shirt that I bought like a while back that I don't really wear. And that's what I'm going to purge to kind of kind of like balance it out. Not, I'm not going to do that with every item, but um, I'm trying to be a little bit more self-conscious. And I know I'm like when I look around, I feel like I have so much stuff. So I will be doing a closet so before the end of the month for sure. And I have so much stuff that I need to get rid of. Things that I even haven't even worn. So like I said, for me... For me, I have to love it right then and there for me to, you know, love it. So that's just how I am. Um, this one, I, I don't know if I showed you guys this shirt. So I'm going to quickly show it to you. I don't remember. I showed it in the last haul. It's just a Saint Laurent shirt that's red. Um, it has a YSL right here. It's just stripes. And I it get, no, I think I wore it on my vlog. So the video before this is a vlog. And I'm showing you the items that I bought from TJ Maxx. And then uh, the Valentino handbag that I'll be showing you guys. Um, Saint Laurent shirt, it's just a classic one. It reminds me of like when my tias would come or my madrinas would come from Mexico. They would always buy me clothes from Zara. And it reminds me of a striped shirt that I had at the time. So it kind of reminds me of that. It kind of reminds me of my brother would wear. It's just like a striped shirt. And you know, you can never go wrong with it. I have I can go with my red McQueen sneakers with black jeans, black trousers. It could go with my Antigona. It could just go with so much. And I think red is a really good color that looks good on me. And yeah, um, Saint Laurent tee, Saint Laurent embroidered. And this one is in a men's medium and it fits perfectly. And I am in love with it. So um, Saint Laurent shirt, definitely gonna be for the win. And you can never go wrong with it. Item that I'm be sharing is going to be um, the items that I got from TJ Maxx. So I ended up getting two items. So on the first one, and the one that I went to where I found this one was the TJ Maxx off uh, the one by North Park Center, um, North Central Expressway. And I saw this, I had a $50 gift card and I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it. For me, I struggle to find tops that I like. Like you've seen me wear this shirt for the last year. I'm just a little self-conscious about shirts. So the fact that I have like four and I think I have a few more is a good thing. So I'm happy that I have a couple of tops to wear. So this is going to be a shirt from Vince. And this one right here, it is beautiful. When you saw me try it on in TJ Maxx, I just loved it. I've already wore it. I love the exaggerated collars right here. Look at these beautiful buttons. They look like little uh, like little shark teeth. Like they are so unique, so different than your traditional um, buttons. I have edited button it all the way. Um, in the back, it has these little like pleatings right here. I love the color. Um, even like when you, when you lay it down, um, Look at that beautiful pleating detail. It just looks absolutely phenomenal. And it looks really, really well. And for me, I always love Vince Clothing. You guys know Vince Clothing is one of my favorite brands. Like for basics or just for anything. Trousers, classic tops, everything. I probably, the brand that I have most in clothing is probably going to be either... Yeah, it's going to be the Vince. Vince, Vince going to be the one that I have the most from. Um, I did wear this out the prior weekend, and the way I styled it, and I'll enter that photograph here, is I wore this shirt. I wore an express bodysuit underneath it, some Aguadi jeans, my Bottega Veneta handbag, and then my Tom Ford belt, and then some McQueen sneakers that I have back here, which I'm going to show you. And that's how I styled them, and that's how I wore them, and... I think they look really, really well, and I love the outfit. And so this one, I wore it yesterday as well. So um, this is already getting a lot of wear. This is like a great fall piece. It's It has a good weight to it. And, you know, yes, it was $100 for TJ Maxx. That's a little bit on the pricey side. It was from the runway section. But the amount of wear, the fact that I've already worn it like a couple of times and it hasn't even been a full week says a lot. So Vince shirt with the little rock details, definitely love it. And I went for it and I was like, you know what? I haven't looked back and I always struggle to find nice tops in my collection. So I was like, you know what? I am going to go for it. The next one, which is going to be the most expensive item out of the haul, I believe 
and it's probably one of my favorite items from the haul and they are these trousers you guys saw me try them on at the TJ Maxx off of Preston and they are some leather pants I have to take the dry cleaners again I've already worn I haven't even had them I had them for like eight days now and I've already worn them four times and it goes to show you if I love something I love it so um, like I said they are a little wrinkly and I will say this lambskin leather has stretched out a little bit so I do want to ask you guys these are in a size 4 when I tried them on they fit phenomenal I don't know if leather can get hemmed or leather you can uh, cinch in in the waist if anybody knows I would love to know I'll, I'm going to text my tailor to see um, there are a few things that I have to get altered but I saw these pants and I said I've always wanted some nice flowy leather pants I remember back in the day, like two years ago, at Nordstrom Rack, I had bought these frame ones, these black ones, and they were like $100 from $1,000. They were like 90% off, or it was clear the rack. And I bought them, but then I ended up returning them, and I kicked myself every time, because they were actually my size, and I wish I would have kept them, because I would wear them every day. They were nice frame leather pants. Um, these ones are, are pretty pricey, I'm not going to lie, I still can't believe I bought them. They were $1,200 retail, and I paid $400 from TJ Maxx. That is a lot of money, and you know when I bought it, I didn't even get offered the credit card. You know what I mean? You know how they say like ten percent off or something. Not that I would get it because I, I, I don't, I don't use any cards other than the ones that I, the two that I use. But I just love, love, love these brand. Like, look at this beautiful leathery, uh, lambskin leather. Like, it is so buttery soft. Like, I got caught in the rain, uh, the other day, but they are so buttery soft. Like, so buttery soft, and so. I love these Vince leather pants. They are phenomenal. They fit really, really well. Um, like the first two times, but they are a little bit on the looser side. So I do want to ask you guys: um, Is there any way I can get these uh, adjusted? I don't even know how because of the stitching. If anything, I think you can get it maybe tapered here on the side. But I, I can, I believe I can take maybe like two centimeters off, and they'll fit even perfectly. But these Vince leather pants. I am totally obsessed with them and I think that they were a really great purchase. Normally not something that I would ever like buy out of the get-go. I still can't believe I bought them, but like I said, I'm really happy with my wardrobe. I love everything that I have. Everything kind of mixes and matches. I have a lot of basics, but I have like a lot of wow pieces. This I could easily wear with this. This I could wear with any color bodysuit that's like a neutral color that I can wear this with a black blazer, I could wear this with a tank top, I could wear this with this hat, I could wear this with so many items, so I knew it was going to be a versatile item that they're going to get so much wear, and I think that it was a really great purchase, like normally not a purchase that I would typically make, but I have been kind of searching for those kind of key components in my wardrobe. The next item is going to be an item that I replaced with another item, so um, I have bought another Loewe basket bag. This one is in the small one. If you guys know, I have the larger one from the Paula Ibiza collection, and it's the one that has like the leather interior, the leather throughout it in the front. And so I have that one, and I love it. And then I also had a white one. But if you guys remember when I bought the white one back all the way like last year in the fall season, it was like a little lopsided. It wasn't like it was kind of like a little crushed. Not saying that. I mean, this one's like a lot better, and it was white as well. But I saw this brown one, and I at last call for I think like 175, and I said, you know what? If I get this, you know, the white one, yes, it's a little lopsided, and it bothers me just like a little bit. So I was like, you know what? I will sell my Louisville white uh, basket bag, and I'll replace it with this one, and that's what I did. I sold the white one, and now have the brown one, and I'm super happy that I have both sizes, even though they're like very similar bags. And I'm trying to tell myself to keep both of them because i really really like them i have been using i wore this out on monday and it's so cute it's like a little baby one i don't know what i'm gonna wear today but i have a feeling that i kind of want to wear this a little baby basket bag um i still feel like till the end of august i'll still wear the basket bags but i will say basket bag season is slowly coming into an end and i'm very very sad but i do love the low baby basket bag it is one of my uh, favorite bags you know that are very very easy and transitional like you can wear them from the spring to the summer to the summer a little bit to the early early fall I think it's really cute um, I wouldn't more no I wouldn't wear it in the winter time but towards the end of winter I think it's a great transitional piece and you know it's not that I use these bags every day like I said I have so many bags in my collection so it's a great rotation item and I take good care of my items so yes even though it's weaving it's not a full like leather bag or anything I still love the Louis Vuitton basket bags and I have two in my collection that are two different sizes. 
but are essentially the same one. So I guess that says something about the Louis uh, basket box. But I do love it, and I'm super happy to have it in my collection. And I do not miss the white one at all. I think the white one was a really great decision to get rid of it. Next items are going to be um, from Burberry. I have one Burberry item, and it is a t-shirt. Some disinfecting wipes right there. I, I, I don't know why those are there. Um, the next one is this beautiful Burberry shirt. And this one is in a woman's small, I believe. Um, yes, but it's oversized, so it fit me perfectly. Um, it has Burberry right here, and it has kind of like an eye. I do like the evil eye, and if I were to get a tattoo, it would be the eye. And it has like these sharks right here, which I thought were very, very kind of, I don't know, they're kind of weird, I don't know. I like that it's kind of crying the eye. I got it essentially for the eye. If it didn't have the eye and just the sharks, I would have not purchased it. Um, it's just plain in the back. It would have been cute if it maybe didn't say Burberry here and it said it in the back. I think that would have been cuter. But it's just a classic um, kind of like top. Like I said, I struggle to find tops in general all the time. I'm very, very picky. I'm very self-conscious. But this one over a blue denim jacket. This one over a leather jacket. This one over a blazer. It's blue jeans. Very, very easy. It goes with absolutely everything. And yeah, I have a lot of blue denim. So this one goes with all everything blue. So I was like, you know what? A little blue moment. I'm here for it. But this Burberry shirt, I love a lot. And it's a really great one. As you can see, for sale season, I actually did pretty, pretty good. I, I feel like I got some really great finds. And I'm very, very content with absolutely everything. The next thing that I'm going to show you guys are a pair of glasses. And these are from Celine. And these ones. I told you guys that I was going to get them on um, probably the last few days of the anniversary sale. So that's what I did. I bought them. I went to Nordstrom and I bought them. And I'm super happy to have them. At first, I wasn't going to buy them. But I tried them on and I was like, I have to have them. And so they are these. You can still buy them. They're full price now. But they are these, um, these square ones. And what I like is that they're a gradient lens. All the black kind of square glasses that I have, I basically essentially have... All the glasses kind of like look the same and somewhat but what i like is that it has the beautiful gradient lens and so i feel like it goes it goes with absolutely everything i, I will take off my hat so you can kind of see it a little bit better but especially with my i have a big head and i think with the haircut that i got i think it looks really well i'm about to actually i don't necessarily need a haircut today but i'm going out of town so i was like i'm gonna get a haircut after this video but man, I think it fits my face very proportionally. I've always wanted these glasses. Rosie Hudson Whitley has them, and a couple other people have them, and I love them. And I think that they were a really great purchase. And I'm a big sucker for eyewear. I love glasses so much. And like I said, in the month of September, I have a lot of things that I'm gonna be talking about with you guys. Um, um, there's a lot of truth coming out, um, just like my truth, and you know, I, I'm very, very excited for that to come out. But I think that they're beautiful. I think that they're classic Celine glasses. These have been out for many years. And I will wear them. Especially if it's this black square classic glass. I always tend to reach for them. They're kind of my signature style. I'm not a big aviator person. I'm not a big cat eye or some. I think a classic square. And Celine, I think their eyewear never dates. And so I am really in love with them. And I'm super happy to have them. And they are really well the acetate and saline eyewear it's like i said i have a few brands for glasses that i love i may have like one-offs of other ones but tom ford saline oliver people and ray-bans my bread and butter i may have like my one-off of a prado or versace or gucci but those four brands are my favorite brands in eyewear in general bottoms that i got i got these ones from the neiman marcus full line last call sale they were doing additional 20 percent off i went to north park and i just bought these two well they didn't have my sizes but um the where the warehouse here is in irving so like i bought them on a wednesday and on a friday they came friday morning and so the first thing that i got are these little theory linen shorts and these ones i took in a size small they had a medium i'm so happy that i ended up not buying the sizes there this one's in a size 26 these frame jeans and i they had a 27 in store so i'm glad that i went size it down and i think i paid like 160 for both which i thought were really great because they're great items to have in your wardrobe. So this one's a classic, uh, kind of like a linen short. I like that it has a drawstring. I specifically bought this to go with my black classic Aritzia bodysuits or just classic bodysuits in general. And they're just my easy to to go. What I like is that they're short, but they're not too short. You guys know, uh, I'm very weird. I love short shorts, or but they're still kind of like appropriate somewhat in a sense. And I also like, you know, like ankle denim. That's usually my to go. I don't like them 
to be any different, either kind of like shorter shorts or ankle jeans or ankle trousers. That's usually the type of fits that I like. Super cute, classic black shorts. I don't think you could ever go wrong with. And they have like little gay pockets and they'll go with everything. And I have worn them like two times already. Um, the next one are these, like I said, these frame jeans. I'll try to link them down below. Size 26, the original. These are my first pair of frame jeans that I've actually loved. For me, I've had so many frame jeans in the past and I think the styles that I got were the ones that I didn't care for. What I like about these ones is that the drop on them, especially to the crotch, is like a little bit longer. And so they are a little bit more on the higher waisted and I get a little bit more coverage. For me, I'm, I hate low waisted trousers. I dislike low waisted trousers. And the, I think the vlog where I go to TG Maxx, the last call and I try on some uh, Saint Laurent pants, they were way too low and I hated them so freaking much. I hate trousers that are a low drop. And these ones are a little bit higher. I do have a pair of Mothers that are 28 that I'm actually going to put on Poshmark. They are, they're just a little bit too big. They're size 28. These ones are size 26. They still have a little bit of stretchiness to them where I can wear a bodysuit and the bodysuit material doesn't kind of crunch up. Uh, they're in a beautiful blue wash color. And I really like them. I like that they kind of have like this kind of like other color here. And I, I think these, I think I will be adding more frame denim into my collection. And I'm super, super excited to add more frame. And I think that these were a really great purchase. And I've already worn these. I have already worn these like five times already. So frame jeans for the win. is fall season is approaching. I have a candle burning from Bath to Body Works. That's fall. This one is pumpkin spice latte. I'm literally already here for the fall vibes. Like ever since I got that Marc Jacobs bag, the snapshot uh, from my, the hottest handbags for fall under $500. Oh my God. Like i am ready for fall when i tell you i am ready for fall i am ready for fall and so one thing that gets me into the fall mood even though we're in august but one like i said once september hits i'm in full-blown fall mood i want to be like christian girl vibes like with my boots with my hat with my uh with my handbag like around the crook of my arm like i just want to live the whole uh fall christian girl fantasy fall is my favorite time of the year it's literally i love it more than the winter I love fall so freaking much. I love fall. Fall is my favorite time of the year. Always, always, always. It's going to take me there. And then obviously the one that I'm burning too will take me there. And I'm already kind of getting prepared by fall items. You know, there's already some items here like the Vince leather trousers, the Celine glasses um, that are already going to transition me to the fall season. And um, I'm into the browns and I'm into the whites and I'm into the lighter blues and the blacks for uh, fall. And I, and I can't wait to bring all my jumpers out of my wardrobe. Um, this weather, weather is upon us and I'm really, really looking forward to this holiday this year. Uh, next item is going to be a Valentino handbag. It is this red one. I showed it to you in the haul. I already wore it a couple of times, but my mom really wants this bag, so I think I'm going to end up giving it to her. I do not want to give it to her, but she loves this bag. Well, she seen me have my red Burberry bag, and she always compliments. She's like, you know what? Like, I'm not really into designer bags, but I just love a red bag. And I remember growing up, like, one Christmas, I remember my dad, me, my dad took me and my brother to the mall, and we went to the coach store, and we picked out, like, a red, remember when Coach Poppy bags were a thing? I was like maybe like 10 years old and I remember my, we picked a red bag out and my mom wore that bag out to death and so I think ever since then she hasn't had a red bag ever since and so I feel like that's why she's been kind of wanting a red bag and normally this is not even the size that she would go with she would either go for a flap or like a bigger tote but it is this beautiful Valentino kind of red hobo it has the beautiful gold studs around it um, it has studs here on the sides um, it is beautiful. It says Valentino right here. It's I, it had when I got it, it had all the blue blue protective sticker. I got it from my essay. I got it for I think six sixty. On the inside, it has kind of like this suede material, and then it has a zipper, and it says Valentino. And it is such a beautiful handbag. I it's taking me everything not to give it to her, but she really wants it. She's my mom at the end of the day, so. I don't want to give it to her, but I love my mom so much. So, la amo mucho, la amo mucho. So, está bien. She doesn't really ask me for a lot of things. But she's like, she kept asking me if I can borrow it. But borrow it means can I have it. So, I bought it. I think it's está bien bonita. Está absolutamente preciosa. I love los studs. I love todo. Pero, 
if she wants it, then I think I may have to give it to her. I may wear it maybe one or two more times before I give it to her, though. But this Valentino one's definitely for the win. And, I mean, I wouldn't wear it like this. I feel like the drop is a little too low. But I love the drop like that when you carry it in the crook of your arm. When you kind of carry it kind of like top handle. Love the vibes from it. And this is beautiful. And, yeah, Valentino handbag definitely for the win. And, oh, I know she's, gonna, I know she's going to... Uh, uh, I love this a lot more than I do because I have so many handbags in my collection, but that's such a really, really pretty handbag. Um, I have a couple of ready-to-wear pieces. This is an item from the row that I got from that vlog. I don't know if I actually showed you that I bought it, but it is this long, oversized kind of... It's a, it's supposed to, When I looked it up, it's a dress, but I'm wearing it kind of like oversized, like a bodysuit and then like shorts or jeans. Like That's the way I'm going to be styling it, and it's in this kind of like off um, white color. This one is in a size small. What I like that it has actually buttons where I can actually remove it and I can make it kind of collarless. And you can obviously wear it as a dress, but I wouldn't wear it as a dress. It has like a nice slit on the side. It is pretty long, but I'm gonna be wearing it more as a shirt, like a sh like a shirt, like an oversized shirt. Like like I said, shorts, a bodysuit, and this, or like a tee, and maybe like my Gucci hat and like my little basket bag. That's actually a really cute outfit. It goes, it hits the aesthetic, and I love it. Um, this one was 15, and I got it for 350 at last call. I thought that was pretty reasonable considering it was 15, and all the items from the row that I love. If you want to see a collection of the row items, like me trying on everything, let me know down below because I think at this point I do have a pretty nice collection of the row ready to wear. I have one handbag and a couple of accessories, um, but I got this one and I love it. And like I said, I struggle to find like tops, like tops a lot. So the ha the fact that I like I said have a lot in this video says a lot. Um, I bought this Jibachi jumper. Friends bought it and he didn't. I said, oh that's so cute. If you don't want it, give it to me. And so he texted me. He's like, you know what? He's like a size like true size like extra large. And this is in a size. Um, extra large yeah and this one retailed for 840 and I think I got it for maybe like two something and it literally fits me like a men's medium it has like Givenchy and the knit of this is super thick like at this point where in the fall I don't have to wear a third piece I thought this was super cute with like I said trousers jeans everything goes with everything and so I got it I think it is so adorable and it's gonna get a lot of wear in the fall and the winter so it's that absolutely preciosa so I said you know what it's a good basic and I love it but I bought one before this one and I kind of like this one a little bit more and I'll explain to you why so the next one I'm gonna show you I probably am going to return if I'm being quite honest um, which is the next one is going to be this one from Bottega Veneta um, this one is just way like it's such an oversized like on the Givenchy ones the sleeves I can just roll it once and it's fine But this one I literally have to like roll it so many times for it just for my arm just to come out And I would just hate to start adjusting it a lot So for me this Bottega Veneta one it's super well made like you could even tell by the camera like the details of it The way it looks it's absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely stunning, but I prefer the Givenchy one, not because it's a Givenchy, it's just because of the fit of it. And I just don't like how I have to roll up the sleeves on it like two or three times. So this Bottega Veneta jumper is unfortunately probably going to get returned, probably the only item that I'm returning in this haul. I love it a lot, but I can always find a black jumper anywhere else. And I did, that one was a little pricey. I think maybe I got that one on sale for... I want to say maybe like $400 and that's pretty expensive and I can get a Vince one that will fit me perfectly either like on sale or full price and so for me I was like I, uh, I rather have one that fits me perfectly than one that just because it's designer and I could say that maybe it's Bottega but I'm not really comfortable in it and it looks kind of it, it doesn't give me a shape to it at all versus Givenchy Yes, it's kind of like a little boxy but it definitely gives me a little bit more shape than uh, the one from Bottega Veneta um, the next two items, which is the last items, this haul has been going pretty fast. Um, it's just, like I said, it's quite a bit of items. Um, they are both McQueen sneakers. Um, I have worn them both, so my pardon if they're like a little dirty. I have to clean the shoelaces and everything. So these are going to be my third and my fourth McQueen sneakers. So now I officially have four. I have the red ones and I have the black ones, and I love them so much. For me, I used to hate the McQueen sneakers so much. I bought one for my brother like a year ago or like for Christmas. I love how they looked on him. He would not let me borrow them. So that's why I said I'm adding McQueen sneakers into my collection. And so I saw these ones. These ones gave me like 
Louisiana, kind of like um, New Orleans kind of vibes, like NOLA, because it's kind of like, um, what do you call it, the New Orleans Saints? It kind of gives me that vibes. And I love that the soul has this gold on it. I thought that was so different. I, it makes me it makes me feel like special. It, it makes me happy. In the back, it does seem a queen, but I will say, since I kind of like rubbed against each other, and I've only worn these ones like two times and i did it kind of scraped off a little bit i mean you can't really tell i mean i don't really care they're sneakers at the end of the day um and i took these in a 40 and then the other ones i'm gonna show you are in a 41 but same for the black and the red ones i think the black ones that i have are 41 and the ones that are 40 mm, these ones are definitely a lot more snugger but they're not uncomfortable at all and obviously 41 they just are a little bit they're not big because they fit me perfectly um but they, they are good. I've worn them out already. I just love McQueen sneakers. I love, love, love them so much. Um, I will say my signature shoe of 2021 is these ones. Last year, it was definitely my Beja sneakers. Those were the ones that I wore and wore and wore and wore and wore. This year, it's all about the McQueen sneakers. The fact that I have four, and I definitely could see myself adding maybe one or two more says a lot. I love them, not only because I'm 5'11", this definitely adds a little bit of height to me, so I, it takes me to the gay six foot fantasy, and I definitely am here for it. So I just like that they make me feel taller, and I'm here for it. I'm, I'm here for the six foot fantasy, and I'm here that it gives me a little bit more posture. I'm feeling myself, and I feel super confident in my queen sneakers. So these gold ones, I love so much, and I am happy for them. The next ones, I'm actually kind of embarrassed to show you because these ones are super dirty. So me and one of my close friends actually have the matching shoes. They're so dirty because um, I wore them out for the first time and um, it was just, it, it, I wore them out at night. So that goes to show you like the wear on them. But I have to clean the laces. So the way I clean the shoes is a magic eraser throughout the shoe, everything comes right off. Um, and then for the shoelaces, I take all the shoelaces, I put them in a garment bag, um, like a lingerie bag. I'll insert my favorite lingerie bag down below. And you just zip it in and you just put it with your whites and the shoelaces come clean. And I, most McQueen sneakers do come with extra laces depending where you buy them. What I like about these ones is that these ones don't say Alexander McQueen. They're like all studded. And I just think that they're so pretty. I just love the silver details. I think that they go with everything. They go with every everything that I bought. They go with the shorts. They go with the frame jeans. They go with the road top. They go with the Vince shirt. They go with the Vince um, leather pants. They just go with absolutely everything. And yeah, I ended up getting these white ones and the beautiful white studs. And I love them so much. I think that they add an extra elevation and they're just your elevation from an everyday white sneaker. And so, yeah, guys, that is going to be my whole designer haul. Um, it is quite a bit of items. It is quite a lot. Um, but like I said, this is probably going to be the last haul in a little bit or the ones that are a little bit more designer because this is like the designer finale like the last kind of bits and bobs that i'll probably end up purchasing um until kind of like winter season but i'm really content i'm really happy and i'm ready to purge a lot of other items as you can see the last couple of videos uh, or the last 10 videos i think out of four of them were all hauls so i'm definitely ready to um get rid of some stuff and to welcome all this newness that i have there are quite a bit of stuff i have literally a big pile right here of things that i um i'm ready to part ways with and um follow my poshmark i'll leave it linked down below and um follow me on instagram as well because now i'm going to be doing swipe ups on when i find good deals or when you guys want me to if you guys ever want a direct link to anything you can always feel free to ask me and yeah follow me on instagram because you will know when the next uh when I start posting stuff on Poshmark, but definitely before the end of the month. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all my beautiful subscribers. Los quiero, los quiero, los quiero. Mucho con todo mi gay corazón. And I'll leave the links for everything down below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. And like I said, the month of September is going to be really, really big. So stay tuned to see um, all the fun things that are going to be happening. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Y los miro hasta la próxima video. Bye, guys. Los quiero, los quiero mucho.